I want to start with that requirement of not having to be in the top 30 now for the Cup Series. So tell me how you guys kind of came to that decision to change that particular part of the equation here. Well, first, Caitlin, thanks for having me. And, and uh, we're, we're looking forward to a great uh, you know, 2023 season. We're excited to get to the Coliseum um, for our second year of the Bush Light Clash and, and kicking off our 75th anniversary. But as you hit on earlier, we had some exciting news today. Um, as far as the, uh, the top 30 in points, as we digested that and looked at it in the off season, you know, we've got 36 charter teams in the, in the Cup Series, and they all work extremely hard uh, to get to the playoffs. And for a team to have uh, been in the not in the top 30 and have won a race and not get the opportunity uh, just didn't feel like it was uh, fair. So we felt like it was the right thing going forward uh, to make sure everybody had an equal opportunity there. Elton, congratulations on your new position, I think. I mean, they're throwing you right to the fire today <laughs> with all this news. But the, the one that I was curious about is the uh, Hail Melon, as Caitlin called it a minute ago. Uh, that rule for the Martinsville move that Ross Chastain made, we all kind of wondered what, what happens now? This is a one-time, once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to watch this happen, but where does it go from here? Is anybody going to attempt it again? Is NASCAR going to have to set parameters? And you guys made that decision today. So kind of like Ka Caitlin's question, how did you get to that? decision? Yeah, uh, great question, Trevor. And as we looked at it uh, in the off season, and uh, you know, that was a very exciting moment. Uh, it will go down in the history of our sport, if, if not the most exciting moment. It's in the top five for sure. Um, it came with a, a, a great deal of excitement, as I said, but it also came with a great deal of scrutiny. Um, we met internally Monday after Martinsville, made a decision that we would officiate the championship uh, weekend in Phoenix, as we had the previous 35 uh, races. Um, after gathering more information in the off season, um, it just felt like that we needed to make a move. We need to step in and we will officiate that differently uh, as we move into the 23 season. It's not brand new language, as you alluded to earlier, uh, Caitlin, as you read it. It's just language that was in the rule book. And um, if we see that and deem that as an unsafe uh, maneuver, then we would uh, penalize and that would be a time or a lap penalty. Well, and another big rule that was announced today was the fact that we will not have stage breaks on the road courses. I, for one, actually happen to like this rule a lot that we're not going to have those. I felt like it definitely changed the flow of the race too much and, and took some of the strategy out of it. What went into the decision to, to get to that point, though, to say you guys are going to get rid of that? Was it teams? Was it drivers? Was it everybody collectively? Or, or how did you get there? Well, I think it's one of our, our most important elements. It was our fans. Um, they, they through their council and, um, you know, talking with our teams, you know, when we implemented stage racing four or five years ago, um, it basically took a lot of the strategy away from the road courses. And I know our fans and our teams really um, enjoyed and liked the opportunity when to pit, when not to pit, stay out, you know, no tires, four tires, whatever it may be, but we took some of that away um, with the stages. So basically, we're going to still pay points at the designated lap, but uh, we will race through that uh, that lap and, and continue green. If there's a natural caution at that period of time, uh, then we will throw the caution, dispatch the, the caution vehicle and work through the cycle of pit stops. Well, Elton, we appreciate the insight. Thank you so much for your time. We're looking forward to a great NASCAR season across the board. Thank you. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.